everybody. Happy Saturday. It is shopping Saturday. Today we are back at Aldi because our goal is to shop at Aldi as much as possible. However, last week I did take a break and go to a fun store around here called Jungle Gyms. If you guys missed that haul, check it out. It, um, it's just fun. It's fun to just change it up and buy some different things that we don't normally buy, but normal. Back to Aldi. Definitely feeling that we didn't go to Aldi, aren't we? Oh yeah, the refrigerator was the emptiest, emptiest I'd seen it. <laughs> it's very empty. We need, and our, we had like our fruit bowl was empty. But... Normally I open up the fridge and it's full of green. It's like the whole thing is just green. <laughs> and now I can see shelves. So I definitely can tell you didn't buy all the fruits and vegetables you normally bought. Yes, and like I said, our fruit bowl is empty, which is never. So I also though have a menu, because I did plan out a menu and everything this week. So um, I will share that with you guys, what we're going to be making. And we are also vlogging today, so you guys, that should be up tomorrow or the next day, so watch for that. And I think that's about everything. Oh, April. April, we are going to do a low spend April. And that is not for any reason other than it's time to just really try to get through our pantry and our freezer so that we can get it all cleaned out for part of spring cleaning and then we can restock later. So we are gonna just try to use up what we have. I'm a little concerned some of the stuff we have in the freezer might be gonna get freezer burnt because we've had it in there now for a while. Yeah. So I'd like to rotate through that and then I might move the freezer. I need to level the freezer because it, another purpose of having those little latches on the sides keeps the door closed when the freezer's not level since we put it in a garage which is sloped. So that'll give me a chance to kind of fix that too. So that is the plan and we will be doing smaller hauls, but I'm also going to be vlogging more and sharing with you guys what we're making as we're trying to use up the food in our freezers and pantry. So let's go to Aldi. We'll try and take you guys in for a minute. Okay, so we are on our way back home and there were some things that they did not have at Aldi. Um, and then there were a couple things that I needed that I don't get at Aldi. So I went ahead and put in an order for Walmart for that. So I will share that with you as well. And then you'll see everything that we bought <laughs> this week. Look at those big fluffy clouds. So pretty. We're on our way home from the store. Okay, so here is everything from Aldi. Now our Aldi total is about $220. It was $219 and some change. So here is what we got. Got two packs of bacon. This is a gourmet deli selection. It has pepper salami and just some different <laughs> different uh, meats. I thought that would be nice for the kids for sandwiches. Charles got some chocolate chips, marshmallows, and somewhere up and over here is chocolate syrup and ice cream. He is going to do s'more sundaes for Sunday Sunday. We got three packs of dinner rolls, and that is to go with a couple of the dinners that we're having today, or I mean this week. <laughs> two Colby Jack, two mozzarella. We are making homemade pizza one day. Some singles, two butter, one dozen egg because I'm getting enough from our chickens now. Some chocolate syrup, I just showed you guys that. Some granola, that is for one of our breakfasts, is going to be um, yogurt, granola, and fruit. Double chocolate muffins, this is for a snack. Um, the kids love it, but Theo is my main lover of that. Heavy whipping cream, I needed that for this banana strawberry dessert that I am making one day this week. Theo requested some uh, lemonade when we left. So I got him some of this classic sparkling lemonade. Two whipped cream, that is for Sundays and for um, smoothies. Milk, somebody had asked about why I only get a half gallon of milk. I do that because that's we don't even go through a half gallon. <laughs> We're just not milk drinkers at our house. Some orange juice, Charles picked that out because Ronnie loves orange juice. I got some whole milk yogurt vanilla and then some non-fat Greek yogurt. That is for the morning that we are gonna do yogurt cups. I also needed the Greek yogurt for one of the recipes that I'm making um, this week. Two original almond milk. 
I did not get <laughs> vanilla. Thank goodness. I also though sent Charles to get it, so he did good. He picked popcorn chicken to make one day for lunch. Pastries. Um, he gets these Danishes. Charles loves these to just grab and munch on. Cinnamon rolls. We are going to have that one day for breakfast along with some fruit. And then I got a sausage and I got three ground beef for the dog. Ham slices again for um, and hard salami again for uh, sandwiches. Two bags of frozen cheese ravioli and two boxes of this Texas toast. We are going to have um, ravioli one night. They had these three cheese cheese sticks so my kids love bosco sticks there's only five sticks in here but i thought that they could try it i don't want to buy a bunch and then them not even like it so i thought they could try that i got two pasta rings and meatballs ronnie loves those charles grabbed two of the chocolate dipped peanut butter um he just said the kids have been going through it then hershey bars he got that to go with his s'mores I don't know. Why did you get chocolate chips and Hershey bars? Because I can do a s'more with the Hershey bar on the top, an actual s'more. But the chocolate chips are to melt chocolate or the graham crackers oh. in the middle of the marshmallow. Okay. And then M&M's. Charles picked those as his and Theo's treat together. String cheese. Theo loves those. Lucky Charms take eat and bake bars or cookies. We hadn't seen those before, so Charles picked those. He thought maybe Luke would even try one. Some Bisquick back in the back. Um, I went to make chicken and dumplings the other day, just fast and easy one, and realized I was out of Bisquick. So I needed just needed that. Some craisins. Luke loves craisins, and I need that for um, a recipe that I'm making. One of the kid treats this time was some of these cute little St. Patrick's Day cookies and fruit and grain bars. Luke loves those, so he likes strawberry, blueberry, and apple. Charles saw these Reese peanut butter flavored cupcakes, so we got those for the kids for their other treat. Some um, Aldi brand of like Ritz crackers, and that is Theo loves that with hummus. Corn chips, Theo loves that with melted cheese on it as like his nachos. So when all else fails, he'll eat that. And then I think we're pretty much into the fruits and veg. So we did some um, grapes, different colored peppers, and Brussels sprouts, asparagus, these mixture of tomatoes, a one avocado, garlic, French style green beans, some mushrooms, three English cucumbers, celery, two bananas, um, red onions, chopped kale, two Caesar salad kits. We are doing that the day that we do the ravioli and the garlic bread. Um, I think we might, I don't know which day we're doing it. I think it's going to be an easy night, <laughs> dinner night. And then um, broccoli. I'm doing a broccoli salad and we just like to have the broccoli so I got two of those. Some cabbage. I'm making a coleslaw. And some strawberries. One Luke will devour. The other one I need to have for the strawberry banana salad that I'm making. Blackberries and blueberries. That's also to go with our yogurt and berry day. Some just iceberg lettuce. Some yellow potatoes. Ginger, red delicious apples, carrots, then some gala apples, two bags of spinach because I am going to make this spinach bacon salad, and then we also are doing green smoothies a couple days. A pineapple, we're going to grill that when we make our jerk chicken, and some oranges, lemons, and limes. I think that covers everything except for, of course, the pop that the family loves at dinner time. I think that that covers it all. Okay, so like I said, about $220, $219 and some change ended up being the cost of this one. Um, and then I have more coming from Walmart and I will share that with you. And that was about $54.
So our grand total is about 275 right in there somewhere. Um, but like I said, starting next month, we'll be going emptying out our fridge and freezer. So we will be spending less and less. Yeah. And don't forget, you had to replenish a lot of the fruits and vegetables you did not get last weekend. So otherwise you might not have needed quite as much. Yeah, had I not taken that chance or that break to go to um, Jungle Gyms because it was just fun and bought our groceries, we would have not needed much at all this week. We didn't eat much last week. So that would have saved us money too. But that's where we are now. I'll show you guys as soon as I get Walmart. And so another reason for the chocolate syrup is instead of buying regular almond milk and chocolate almond milk, because Brooke loves the chocolate almond milk, I can get my Sundays done and Brooke can have her chocolate almond milk. All good. Perfect. But I did order dark chocolate almond milk from, oh. from Walmart only because that is her most favorite. And that's different. But she also loves the chocolate almond milk. Just thinking of the kids. I know you are. Okay, so here then is what I got at Walmart. Crave cereal. Ash has been requesting that. Uh, we got some more blackberries because they already ate most of the other ones. Feta cheese. And that goes with the spinach um, bacon salad that I'm making. Vegetarian baked beans. We love these. Dark chocolate silk almond milk. That is Brooke's absolute favorite. Then we needed some Tide. Theo wanted more lemonade, <laughs> some girl stuff. We got uh, two green onions because they were out of green onions at Aldi. And then also some beets for this apple beet salad that I'm making. And they did not have beets at Aldi. So that's everything from Walmart. Okay, so that was it for the groceries. So now let me go out and share with you real quick um, just a, a little bit of what we're gonna have. Today we did some puff pastry danishes for breakfast this morning. And then um, we are doing a smoked pork belly with coleslaw, potato salad, rice, broccoli salad, baked beans, and rolls. That's for dinner tonight. Tomorrow we're doing cinnamon rolls, fruit and eggs, and um, we are making a grilled chicken, jerk chicken, and we're gonna grill some pineapples, some corn on the cob. I have some frozen corn on the cobs. Um, and we're gonna grill some potatoes, some, and I'm gonna make some sesame green beans. And it is Sunday, Sunday for dessert tomorrow. On Monday, we're going to have French toast with some berries and eggs for breakfast. And then we're going to do um, homemade pizza and Caesar salad and um, fruit salad. And let's see, Tuesday, we're going to have green smoothies, some eggs. We're going to do some fish for dinner with some fried rice, some asparagus, some Brussels sprouts, some butternut squash. And dessert, I'm making this strawberry banana salad. Then Wednesday, we're going to have some yogurt and granola for breakfast. And then we're going to make fried potatoes and eggs and some cabbage and some bacon wrapped green beans, a light soup, like a vegetable soup, some rice and some cornbread. And then Thursday, we're going to have banana ice cream for breakfast. And then we're going to make spaghetti squash salad, raviolis, and garlic bread um, and dessert. I'm making this chocolate cake roll the Swiss chocolate cake roll and that's it Fridays I'm kind of taking off I'm not scheduling anything I'm not um, you know having just any plans I figure that's just a free either we'll eat leftovers or things that we need to eat up or dinner that didn't get cooked or you know leave it kind of free like that so all right that wraps up today so thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next Saturday for another shopping haul possibly <laughs> a mini plan if I can get it in and yeah we'll see you guys next week bye everybody thank you so much for watching have a great day or night wherever you are